your inner being channel. It's happened to everybody where we feel like the whole world is coming down, crashing down on us all at the same time. It's like all these terrible bad things are, ha are happening and it's just, it, it's overwhelming, it sucks and we get frustrated or even angry and we just don't know what to do and we don't even know why. Just like nature uh, has a way of balancing off its forces of positive and negative, uh, where it's sunny and the grass is green on one side on the other side, it's dark and gloomy. There seems to be a good balance there in nature. And we can mimic that in our lives as well. Using our energies in the correct way and focusing it on certain things, you too will be able to balance your life out so that you reduce the amount of things that come crashing down on you. So there is five major areas in your life that if you focus and have a relationship with, you will be able to have that balance in your life. And those things are your family, your friends, your work, your money, and your spirituality. Or if you're not spiritual in that sense, you would say your connection with your understanding of your world, of your, of your life, your reality, okay? Your connection to these two things. You may not know where to begin, or you may not factor in a bunch of things. Uh, so i am done the homework for you, and I've come up with five things, five other things for you to concentrate on that will then make those first five things balance themselves out. So you concentrate on these things, and the other things will work out smoothly for you. These five things that you focus on that will bring Peace, happiness, harmony, and control to your life are schedule, budget, health, behavior, and attitude. Having a simple schedule and keep it up for most days. You don't have to follow it all the time, but you should try. There are things that you got to do on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. Keeping things marked on a calendar helps your brain remember all these things. A calendar can be on your wall and your phone. This will make life easier. Next is the budget. If you plan on how much you get and how much you spend, you can find money to spend on fun stuff. But you also have to keep money to save for all those times something bad happens that you can't control. So you see right away, we're already investing our, some of our energy into the things that we can't control. This will make life much easier, like a lot easier, and also get rid of many fears or anxieties. Our health. Our mental health and physical health is crucial. Otherwise, you will live your life in a bad mood, scared, feeling negative, or worse, you will die. This area is also important because it helps with having a good attitude or not becoming lazy. It also helps you focus. When you are not good at focusing, having a lot of mental strength to focus is a key to unlocking the awesomeness in life. So we must focus on focusing. Mental strength helps good decision making and you'll feel better when you know you make a good decision. When you feel better, you live better, helping you have that right attitude. When you are healthy, you feel better. When you feel better, you make better decisions, you live happier, and you can feel it. It also saves you from having a damaged body. You will have a healthier brain, heart, lungs, teeth, eyes, etc. So behavior is the way you act or conduct oneself, especially towards yourself or others. This is very important because it will change the way you treat yourself and it will also change the way others treat you. Look over this list of behaviors and ask yourself, do you take care of your body? Yes or no? Or does it matter? Do you take care of your environment, such as cleaning? Do you take care of your stuff? Do you eat good? Are you grumpy or happy towards your life? 
Are you careful with your money? Do you treat your time in a positive way, such as having a schedule? Do you treat your family, friends, and co-workers in positive ways? Do you treat people in general in positive ways? Are you treating yourself in positive ways? The list goes on and on and on, but how you are towards all aspects of your life will determine how all those aspects in life are towards you. And look at that list. You'll notice how bad behaviors will make life hard and not fun. So, the attitude. Finally, attitude is everything. If you are moody about life or scared or don't even care about things, you will most likely always fall in a trap that makes life feel sucky, terrible, boring. You will then start to have bad behaviors. It is one thing to have good behavior, but it can be hard to do if your attitude is not good. I want you to see the list again below. It is very much like the behavior list, but now the question is, do you respect those same things? Do you respect your body? Do you respect your environment? Do you respect your stuff, your time, your schedule, the people you work with, your family, your friends, your coworkers? Do you respect people in general? Do you respect yourself? Attitude equals behavior equals health. It is a circle and these pieces fit together. You can go further and say, attitude equals behavior, health, schedule, budget. So the difference between asking yourself, do you take care of your body? And asking the question, do you respect your body? If you respect your body, your friends, your coworkers, then it is much easier to have a good behavior towards them. If not, then it is a struggle and you might even fail and have a bad attitude. So when I say attitude is everything, it is at the core, the very thing that will bring happiness, balance, structure to your life. So here's an example. I don't want to do laundry or put my clothes away. I like my clothes, but if I want to wear them, I need to wash them. If I don't have a clean clothes or clothes that don't stink, then people will not be comfortable around me. And more importantly, people will know that I don't respect my clothes, or I don't respect myself, or I don't respect other people, on and on. So people can get a sense of my attitude and behaviors really easy, and this will either come back to me in a positive or a negative way. Now, respecting these things does not necessarily mean you like them. However, as you become happier in life, you will find yourself liking these things after all, especially as you begin to feel the positive effects of your behaviors. In life, we try to get a sense of control. Once upon a time, we depended on people to help us grow and live. And now as adults, we must do it on our own. But remember, help is always available. If you don't follow the five aspects that are presented, then you will lose control for sure. And we all know that there are always things that we can't control that add to our suffering. As you can see, we can do quite a lot of things and have a lot of control in our life. With good mental health, you will have the right attitude and have the strength to perform. How you think about things or people will reflect in your behavior. Each of the five points are a reflection of the other points. So. I present to you a scientific formula for control that will bring happiness, balance, and peace. Schedule plus budget equals time and peace of mind. If there is no schedule or budget, there is only chaos and equals suffering. Health, attitude, behavior equal happiness or suffering. Health equals attitude. Attitude equals behavior. Behavior equals health. It is a circle and these pieces fit together. Without this nice flow of energy, you are looking at a life that brings so much suffering like chaos, hard times that are preventable, headaches, hatred, confusion, pain, weakness, and other aspects. 
And when the energy is well balanced, it flows harmoniously with peace and happiness. It brings control, pride, discipline, intelligence, friendship, fun, strength, a positive outlook on life, and so much more. I'm going to bring this at you in a mindfulness kind of way. You see, throughout your day, if you are mindful, you will be able to touch upon all of these things uh, multiple times in your day. You see, when you pay attention to what you're doing at any given moment, when you are mindful about your experience, whether it be at home or at work, whenever you go to buy something, if you're paying attention to that financial transaction, whether or not you should even have that transaction or not, you know, you, you become mindful of your willpower, whether or not you have the strength to hold back on purchasing that thing that you really want to purchase, or just whenever you're speaking to somebody, whether it's your coworker or your family member, and you give them 100% of your focus and attention as they're speaking to you, you listen to what they have to say. And then that interaction, you paying attention to that, you'll, you'll understand your relationship that for all the things that you can control, if you are paying attention to what we talked about today, you will find balance, which will then bring peace, bring joy and happiness. And when things do happen that you can't control, you will be able to focus on that a little bit more and not be fooled by what it is that you can't control and just deal with whatever situations come up. It'll just make things a lot easier. Until next time, enjoy life, take care, and I wish you well. Thank you for watching.